evil. Wait. You await. Evil awaits. Cut, cut. Oh, come on. Sorry, Agent P. Carl's been taking some film classes and now believes I'm stifling his creativity as my cameraman. Camera artist. Seems Dr. Doofenshmirtz has been buying baby supplies all over town. One can only imagine what he's doing. Two can discuss it between themselves. More than two is, frankly, a waste of our resources. Good luck, Agent B. Okay, once more with feeling. The agency isn't paying for these classes, are they, Carl? I have read every book on the history of rock music. Gosh, Palshi, rock and roll isn't about books. It's about letting go and having fun. Rock and roll is a way for you to tell the world how you feel. Feel about what? Expressing yourself. I mean, what do you do when you're angry? Math. Okay, what about when you're sad? Math. Happy? Math! So every feeling you have makes you want to do math? I do not know if it is so much cause and effect. I do a lot of math. The feelings come and go. What kind of concert is this? It's the Summer Rocks graduation concert. Jeremy's friend Coltrane is an instructor. Look, there they are! Oh, that's Coltrane. He's really cute. Hmm, I guess he is. Hey, wait a minute. You like Coltrane. Well, I've never actually talked to him before, but... Quick, what should we do? Hi? No, wait, pretend you're a talent scout. Ooh, here, I think I have a fake mustache on me. Let's just go over and say hi. What do you think it means when a girl leaves a fake mustache at your house? Hi, guys! Hey, gals. Ha! <laughs> gals, yeah, that's me, the gal. Gosh, why didn't you start calling me that? Hi, I'm Stacy. Hey, how you doing, Stacy? I'm Coltrane. I like your hair. Thanks, I like your bow. Let me show you around. Cool. Hey, Coltrane and Stacy. That was easy. What? Doofenshmirtz Sable Incorporated! Congratulations, it's a platypus! <laughs> what do you think of my new nanny in April? Nice, huh? You know what time it is? Evil story time. See, I wrote my new evil scheme in pop-up book format. Once upon a time, yesterday, like a quarter to six, I was watching a nature documentary, and I learned how before a baby's born, its constant companion is the soothing, steady beat of its mother's heart. Even after it's born, the sound of the mother's heartbeat continues to be a safe, calming beacon to a growing child, in some cases up until their early 30s. Suddenly, I was struck with a brilliant idea to project the sound of my own heartbeat across the city, causing all the babies to believe that I am their leader. Like the Pied Piper, except with babies. I will have a mighty baby army, and no one would fight back, because, you know, they're babies. Finally, the time came for me to tell you my evil plan in pop-up book form, and... Uh, oh, I, I'm sorry, the, the book seems to have caught up to us in real time. <laughs> anyway, behold, the Bombominator. Rock 